tell my experience with my first college relationship and then after Serena will choose our random guest on who gets to share their experience as well. So, mine's is very simple. Um, I was a college freshman, came in, this girl was mad, like she was different from everybody else. So, normally I attracted to her and then we went out for about a couple months before we broke up because of, you know, serious issues like family problems and, you know, religion and all that. So, but today we're still cool friends, um, and she she's actually the first person to take my virginity. So, but that's for another story. Um, but yeah. What was the moral of the story? Moral of the story is you can be friends with your exes. It's not a problem. <laughs> um, just the only thing I would say though is like make sure you keep a, a some of, somewhat of a difference when it comes to like other relationships. Like don't try to force your new partner onto that person in a sense. Because there always be some tension, so. So guys, we're gonna get into the person, the next, to our random guest. So let's get it popping. What's your name? My name is Kat. Mm-hmm. Fiji. Pachito. Where you guys from? Brooklyn, right here. What he said. <laughs> Brooklyn, 718. And you guys can tell, tell like, we're gonna follow you guys and stuff right now. You can follow me at Crom. In 2000 and motherfucking 13, we broke the fuck up. I don't know what she doing, but I know what I'm doing. I'm good. I hope she good. You know what I mean? It's no love loss, bro. Everything is everything. It's everything just everything is everything. Learn from your mistakes. That's, That's all I can say. Like, right? you hear me? Don't take it as an L or don't take it as a loss. Protect your heart at the end of the day. Don't ever open up too much. <laughs> I've been through all that shit. <laughs> I'll tell you how it go. Like, like. Oh, these, these, these females are a little crazy. Yeah, men are a little crazy, but they make us like that, you feel me? Like, I was all in, you feel me? Because 14, I was all in, but I love it, you feel me? Relationship is a relationship, is a balance. Remember that. So if you if, if you find somebody that can drive you crazy, is that's what they're going to say, right? Somebody that's going to make you go out your character, then maybe that might be that person for you, you feel me? If you can get that right feedback from that person and that person understand that, you know what I'm saying? So that's how that works, for me. That's where I'm here 14 years since I was in middle school. Like I said, I know homeboy thing about, I know y'all project is on a um, college thing. But like, I, I dropped out of college. I ain't never been in college. I mean, I dropped out of high school. And relationship played a major part. That's a big fact, you feel what I'm saying? That shit do play a major part, you know what I'm saying? And I'm still here, you feel me? Shit, shit be real, like, that shit ain't serious. It, it may not sound as serious, but, I mean, I, if I could rewind, I wish I would've went back to school. I would've fucked a thousand bitches. I have a, you know what I'm saying? They all around, you feel what I'm saying? But, 
You know what I'm saying? We back, like, feel me? But I, I, I got a good heart, you feel me? And I'm still with my baby girl, you feel what I'm saying? So well, we go through it, you know what I'm saying? So that shit is real, you feel me? So when I was in college, my girl was oh, in college yeah. as well, but she was in college at a different school. Right. Type of things that I had to wear. And about, also, it's, it's not the cut off. It's, it's, it's a life of, it's, a, it's like a life of party. Remember, remember, everybody won this, feel me? Everybody don't know if that right person is really there. It's gonna be that right person for them, you feel me? Yeah, that's a fact. We can say what we say out of our mouth, but actions speak louder right. than words. And some people might be like, yo, if I jump off of the roof, would that believe? Would you believe that I that, really was that, there? That was that's there. Some, some people might really, that's the some, that's the only way, and that's the wrong way, you feel me? Some people should be actually 100% and be like, you know what, I know this nigga for me, or oh, I know this one for me, I know this chick is for me, I know this girl for me, you feel me? Because, nigga, if she fuck up your whole day, then she fucked up your whole day, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> that's somebody that you know that she she got a nerve to fuck you, you feel me? Exactly, and then at the end of the day, I, like, like I said, I was raised, my dad died when I was six, so I was raised by my mom, my mom so drunk, she did it all. She a street, feel me? So I respect females to the max. You know what I'm saying? Like to the maximum. So if it wasn't for females, I don't think niggas would be here being realistic. Like they the ones who had babies, right? So like we gotta be, we gotta give them at least a leverage or at least a Some leeway. You know? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, nah, the real fact. She's talking to somebody when you doing, when you fucking up. Right. Whether it's right. a friend, whether it's, you gotta be honest, right? Whether it's a guy that she knew. A thing way that fucks up relationships is not being open. Open and honesty. A Listen. male, a male should have female friends. That's normal. A female should have male friends. That's, that's normal. normal. That's a fact. Honestly. And that's not normal in this age of right now. You know what I'm saying? That's I feel like, normal. why you don't think it's normal though? That's my thing. No, I'm not saying I don't live like I'm that. That's normal. I'm, I'm saying like, why, why you don't think, think it's normal? normal? Niggas because, be secure. because it's innocent. Men and it's, females it's are secure. It's envy and jealousy yeah, right that's now. Another conversation. Too many niggas be. That's, a very, that's even, another conversation. Hold on, but I want to put and that out there. Insecure. I want to put that out there. They're not insecure about the same sex. Right. They're insecure right. about their female. Yes. Yes. They're insecure about their about, man. About, about that person they love. Because remember, that's what it you can get into an argument or disagreement with that person you love, and that person gonna throw a shot at you. She gonna say something. She gonna hit or a nerve. She gonna say that something you can't, right? that you're gonna be like, whoa, this Why would is you say far that from. Yeah. Right. I, so I that throws you, whoa. You be like, whoa, 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 whoa. Chris, <laughs> Why you gotta go in? Like, so. I thought you loved me, type shit. Right. Okay, guys, you know, this is a chain of scenery, but we're still in the same place. So, you know, you saw our little. Our, our three guests. Let us know what you thought, cause they actually I like them. They you know they give us some good insight about life. <laughs> of course, make sure you comment about this week's topic. Um, in the next show, we'll give you a shout out. We, we won't share your story that you do the heated topic, but we'll share your, your you know your Instagram feed. So the shout out for this week goes out to um, I'm gonna put his Instagram and Snapchat down here. Um, he happens to be my cousin, but pretty much his experience was kind of crazy. Um, it's kind of too explicit for the camera, so. <laughs> Uh, basically, like, she was really controlling, um, and basically, like, she didn't allow him to, like, branch out, so, like, let's say if he was to talk to another girl, she would basically go crazy and do the things that you normally hear, like, in the hood or something, so, um, shout out to him, uh, hopefully he's okay, um, but yeah. That's the end of our little show today, make sure you follow Instagram is underscore fuck roses with a V not a U. My Snapchat and my Twitter is fuck roses with a V not a U, no underscore. My Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube is underscore we want more. And my Snapchat is we want dot more. Make sure you follow our wonderful show's Instagram page. It's the need to know show. And make sure you like, you comment, you share, you subscribe. Everything, guys. You don't do it anymore? Oh. Next time, next time, I got you. Did I do that last time? I don't remember either. Till next time.